Hi, today I'm working on a 2004 Nissan Sentra 1.8 liter engine. Uh, I have a check engine light on and I'm getting code P0447, which is basically the EVAP canister vent valve is open. It's stuck in the open position. I will show you what I found. You only need a few tools to do the job that I'm doing today. Gonna need a torque wrench for when you uh, put your tire back on, a breaker bar to get the lug nuts off the tire, a pair of wheel trucks to put in under the front tires, <clears throat> a jack stand, a uh, wire slicer, a soldering iron, electrical wire, in my case it's 20 gauge, uh, some heat shrink tubing So once uh, I solder the wire the new wire on you put the heat shrink tubing over and it melts down and makes a good seal and The solder I'm using is rosin core And of course you need a floor jack uh, And one last thing is just a uh, extension cord to plug it into your soldering iron all right let's get started anytime you're working on anything electrical on your car you want to disconnect the negative battery terminal in your engine bay or wherever your battery is located uh, just for a safety feature just make sure you disconnect it I have the rear driver side tire off the vehicle I have it jacked up with a jack stand underneath for support and I have wheel trucks on the front tires as well just to prevent the car from rolling uh, on most cars you're gonna find your evap canister system behind your uh, inlet for your gas for your fuel so if you just look behind it's right in here these boxes and what I found when I was looking at this is there's this harness that goes to the canister and there are two wires but one of the wires has split off this red piece um, at one point a few years back I had a problem and I brought it to a shop and I'm guessing this is what he did uh, he used a uh, heat shrink and it wore off and it split again so what I'm gonna do is cut this wire right behind the red piece take this red piece off the heat shrink tubing and I'm gonna attach a new wire solder it on and there's a small piece that's still sticking out from the harness itself and I'm gonna hopefully get it soldered on there even though it's not very long but we'll give it a try okay what I'm going to do uh, because it's gonna be too awkward to try to strip the, the wire coating off of that wire that broke off in the harness so I'm gonna cut this other wire so I could take the harness out and work on it away from the car so it could solder a wire back on um, I had taken my little connector piece and went to a local uh, auto parts store uh, they had this part for $110 um, but the supplier was out of stock and I wasn't too keen on paying $110 for this little piece so I went to the Nissan dealer just to see which I know was gonna be a strikeout anyway but they don't sell this connector by itself you have to buy the whole connect you have to buy the connector with the whole wiring harness uh, and they wanted $800 for that so that was out the window so then I decided I was just going to try to take this apart and 
I was actually successful in doing that. Uh, this is just the white <coughs> tab that was inside the connector. And then this wire was the piece that was inside here. So <coughs> what I'm going to do is carefully take the wire that's existing in here. Um, I'm just going to use a pick and needle nose pliers and get that out. And then I'm going to put a new wire in there and I'll probably solder it just so I have a good connection going into the connector. And I'm going to do that right now. What I wound up doing was I basically just soldered everything together. Um, I was able, it's not the prettiest looking thing I know, uh, but I was able to get the uh, wiring back into the connector and then I spliced the wires into the original wires, soldered those together and I went to clear the code in the car with the scanner and I will show you. Okay, I'll start the car. And before I could plug in the scanner, I looked and the check engine light was already off. So <clears throat> that cut wire must have been the culprit. Um, sorry I didn't get a chance to videotape uh, soldering all the connections together. But I was kind of pressed for time as I have my state inspection due up uh, in a couple of days. So I wanted to get this done. Uh, I'm happy, saved myself a couple hundred bucks at least. So, it's not a hard job, it's just a little time consuming, so if you're able to do it yourself, just uh, give it a try. Thanks for watching, uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it or you learned anything. I know it wasn't the best video, but uh, thanks for watching.